I'm back! I uploaded my college decision reaction video back at the end of December last year and I didn't expect to get so many views so thank you so much for that. I also got flooded with a bunch of comments asking me for my stats and extracurriculars and I know I said that I would make that video ASAP but I just never got around to it until now. Now I'm on spring break and I don't have any more excuses so I'm just gonna get right to it. Just so you know, I'm going to be reading off a Google Doc with all of my information, so if I'm looking down, it's just my laptop. Alright, I think that's a good enough intro, so I'm just going to jump into my stats. Okay, so first things first, I just want to mention that I don't have a GPA or a class rank or any of that stuff. In my freshman year, I went to a normal public high school and then I transferred to IMSA for my last three years and they have very different grading systems and everything. But I'm just going to list off my transcript because that's what I sent to my colleges and I'll start from freshman year. In first semester of freshman year, I took AP World History, Drawing 1, Honors Algebra 2, Honors Chemistry, Honors English 1, PE 1 and Spanish 2 and I got, uh, I'll put the grades somewhere up here, but I got mostly A's and A pluses and I got one B which was in Honors English. In second semester I took AP World History, Drivers Ed, Honors Algebra 2, Honors Chemistry, Honors English 1, PE 1, and Spanish 2 and I got all A's, A minuses, and A pluses. So my cumulative weighted GPA in freshman year was a 4.538. I have no idea what the unweighted equivalent of that is, but you have my grades, so like I guess that helps. I think the curriculum was pretty standard of most high schools, so I don't think there's anything much to explain. Moving on, sophomore year I transferred to IMSA. So IMSA is a bit different from my old high school and probably a lot of high schools that you guys go to. Uh, there's no honors or AP classes, there's no class rank, no A pluses, everything's unweighted, and a lot of the IMSA classes have really weird names like inquiry and exploration and investigation, etc. They really like using those words. So you've been warned. I don't know how much my transcript's gonna help you guys because you probably don't have similar classes, but I'll read off my classes and grades anyways. Sophomore year, first semester, I took Literary Explorations 1, American Studies, Mathematical Investigations 3, Methods in Scientific Inquiry, Environmental Chemistry, and Spanish 3. And again, I'll put my grades up somewhere, but I got all A's and one A-. minus. Second semester, I took Literary Explorations 2, Computer Science Inquiry, Mathematical Investigations 4, BC Calculus 1, so I did double up in math. Um, I took Scientific Inquiries in Physics, Moving and Learning, and Spanish 3, and I got 3 A-minuses and 4 A's. Junior year, I took Literary Explorations 3, uh, Scientific Illustration, Ancient World Religion and Philosophy, BC Calculus 2, Advanced Chemistry, Advanced Biological, uh, Biological Systems, and Spanish 4, and I got 3 A-minuses and 4 A's. Second semester, I took Creative Writing Workshop, the World in the 20th Century, BC Calculus 3, Advanced Chemistry, Advanced Biological Systems, and Spanish 4. And I got all passes that semester because uh, they had a pass incomplete grading system since we had to switch to virtual learning uh, halfway through the semester because of the pandemic. Alright, senior year. So these are going to be my quarter one grades because that's what I submitted to colleges. And so quarter one, I got all A's in my classes. I took Gender Studies, History of Mathematics, Statistical Exploration and Description, Biochemistry, and Spanish 5. So I only took 5 courses and it was pretty nice. I think I also listed the classes I was going to take second semester. Uh, I don't really remember but I'll just list them here anyways. So right now I'm taking Digital Literary Studies, Modern Economics, Statistical Experimentation and Inference, Physics, Sound and Light, Pathophysiology, Stress Management for Life, and Spanish 5. So I'm taking 7 classes this semester, even though I only took 5 last semester. I don't really know how much that information is going to help you, but I'm going to move on to my standardized test scores now, and hopefully that gives you a better idea of what my stats were like. 
So I took the SAT once in first semester junior year and I got a 1570 on it. I got an 800 in math and a 770 in reading writing. And I also got a 6 in each section of the essay which combines for an 18 out of 24, which is honestly not that good, but I submitted it anyways. I just want to mention that I did take the SAT before junior year as well because I had to take it to apply to IMSA, so I had practice with it in 8th and 9th grade. Just in case you're wondering if I got a 1570 on my first try. I absolutely did not. I am not that smart. <laughs> I remember the first time I took a practice test, I got like a 1300. And after a lot of practice, I got up to a 1570. So as long as you practice, you'll definitely be able to get your score up a lot. I did not take the ACT because I took the SAT already and I did not want to struggle through another standardized test. I also took two SAT subject tests at the beginning of senior year. I took math level 2 as well as chemistry. I got an 800 in math and a 780 in chemistry and I submitted both of those scores. For AP exams, I took a total of 5 before I applied and I'm also taking another one this year. I honestly didn't take that many AP exams because I wasn't able to take that many AP courses in general, but if you do have the opportunity to take the courses and take the exams, I would definitely recommend it. My freshman year, I took AP World History and AP Chinese Language and Culture, and I got fives on both of those. In sophomore year, I self-studied AP Psychology. I used the Barron's book because I always use Barron's, it's really helpful, and I was able to get a five on AP Psychology. In junior year, I took AP BC Calculus and AP Chemistry because I was taking a Calc and a Chem class that year, and I got a 5 in Calc and a 4 in Chem. And this year I'm taking Stats, but I don't have a score for that yet. So those are the standardized test scores I had, and hopefully that helps you a little more than my grade section. Now I'm going to move on to extracurriculars, and I just want to say I don't have anything particularly impressive here. My extracurricular section was probably one of the sections I was more worried about in my application, but I'm just going to list out some of the extracurriculars that I spent the most time on and that were most important to me. So first, I did some student research junior and senior year, and that focused on protein engineering and drug targets, specifically for malaria. Junior year, we did most of our stuff in the lab, but this year, since there's the pandemic, we've been doing everything online. It's a bit different, but it's still a good experience. I've also been in medical society for three years since sophomore year. I competed in HOSA in pharmacology. In junior year, I got top three in state, so I was able to go to VILC, which was the Virtual International Leadership Conference, but I did not place at internationals. I'm also the chapter president of Moafa Theta, which is the National Math Honor Society. Basically, for Moafa Theta, we host things like ceremonies, contests, game nights, etc. And I joined in sophomore year, so it's been three years. Allies is another club that I'm really involved in. It's a STEM teaching program, and right now I'm the communications chair of it. Typically, Allies hosts a lot of events on campus, but right now they're all virtual, and these events can be like summer camps or day programs. The students are generally anywhere between third grade and eighth grade, and we have a ton of content to teach them. There's a lot of fun activities in like math, CS, engineering, chemistry, biology, physics, there's everything basically. It's really fun for them as well as for us and it's definitely something that I've really enjoyed throughout these past three years. Finally, I've been a writing center tutor since junior year and I'm still doing it now as well. Overall, you can kind of see that my main interests were medicine and teaching and I did emphasize that in my application as well. It took some trial and error for me to figure out what I was really interested in but I would definitely encourage you guys to do that as well. Just try a bunch of new things, see what you like, and then pursue them. <clears throat> I've been talking for a while, so sorry if my throat is like really hoarse right now. Oh, I forgot to mention awards. I don't really have any awards, but I was a National Merit semifinalist and an AP Scholar with distinction. Uh, but not a lot of my extracurriculars involved competing, so I don't really have that much in this section. On the bright side, this proves that you don't need a bunch of awards to go to a good school, so keep that in mind. So the last thing I'm going to talk about is service hours, and I honestly don't even know if this was on my application because I don't remember writing it in anywhere, but I did have 400 hours before I applied to college because IMSA does have a 200-hour graduation requirement, 
and I met that in sophomore or junior year and after that uh, a lot of my clubs like allies and tutoring gave me a ton of service hours and so I was able to have 400 hours before I applied. Okay, I think that's it. Thank you so much to everyone who's watching this video and everyone who watched my college decision reaction video. I might upload some more videos in the next few months about the end of senior year, but no promises because I have senioritis and I'm very lazy, not gonna lie. If you guys have any more video suggestions, feel free to comment below and I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. But again, I'm really bad at YouTube, so no promises. Anyway, that's it. Bye!